Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Now, for those of you guys that watched my previous spell where we were doing the coin talisman, this is um, the second part that I'm going to be using. Uh, this is a second step that you can do to empower. Now, if you are uh, not necessarily doing it for someone uh, to, you know, manipulate the situation and have them give you money and you're doing this you can also do this step specifically for those that have businesses anything that uh, you're trying to draw in abundance towards you now i will link the first video so that you guys can see how to do that first step and this is like i said the second continuation of the spell work that i'm doing for a client now what you're going to be doing in this particular spell you're going to be needing ancestral money. You're going to be needing matches. You're going to be needing a, a bell, as you guys can see here. You're also going to be needing a blank sheet of paper, a black marker, and you're also going to be needing a candle. And the colors to use is primarily orange. Orange is a very powerful and very strong vibrational color. Um, and we use this specifically to attract um, anything that we're trying to bring towards us like a magnet we use orange now I will take you step by step to show you how to use this particular uh, candle but if you don't have um, a seven day candle you can always use any kind of uh, orange candle that you can use or integrate in this spell work okay all right, so what we're gonna start off is with the blank sheet of paper. What you're going to do here is you're going to write specifically exactly what it is that you're trying to attract towards you when we're talking about uh, money, whether it's because you're wanting to get more clientele, whether it's because you're trying to bring in more money, more financial freedom, whatever your situation is. Now, um, like the first video, this was done for a client to be able to have the upper hand in the relationship that she's in when we're talking about finances because they were a bit stingy with the money. Now we're gonna up it one notch a bit here. Um, and what we're doing here as well as this was, like I said, the first step, this is going to be the second step. So she's being more direct in what she is exactly, what she's wanting. So you can write down exactly what it is that you want your partner to do. Um, you can be very direct and to the point. Try to keep it as minimal as possible. Um, and what you're gonna do is write down your petition. Once you have written down your petition, you're gonna make sure to put at the bottom, the bottom part, you're going to sign, you're going to sign the petition as you can see here. But before signing the petition, what you're gonna write down is something that you're willing to offer the spirit. So as an example, if you're asking for money and abundance, or if you're doing this because you're wanting your partner to financially support you or financially help you, you can always put at the bottom, um, and in return, I will be you know more loving towards them i will be loyal i will be honest whatever it is that you're wanting to offer in return now it is crucial and very important to honor that because if you don't um the spell will be broken and you will find yourself in a much much worse situation so again you must honor the spirits when you're giving an offering. Okay, so like I said, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a bowl where you're going to be able to burn the petition and the ancestral money. You're going to be needing matches. You're going to be needing ancestral money, a white piece of paper, a bell, like I said here, and the jar, obviously. Like I said, I'll link the video, the first video, um, so you guys can know how to do that first step if you haven't watched it. And a black marker with the orange candle now if you don't have an orange candle you can always substitute it with a white one but if you want to get amazing results and quick results 
try to find the orange candle. You guys need to understand that when we're talking about spell work and witchery, the more effort and energy you put towards uh, bringing the spell together, you are already putting that intention. You are already increasing and empowering the spell. So if you sit back and say, well, I don't have an orange, but I can use a white, you're not really putting effort in, again, like I said, gathering the ingredients. So the, the energy is not as palpable as it were to be if you actually go out of your way to bring the whole spell together. So just keep that in mind. All right, my lovely. So like I said, I'm not going to really go into the jar because like I said, I'll, I will just link the, the video um, somewhere in this video so that you guys can click on that and learn that process. This is just the second step. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to write down the petition you're going to sign. Make sure to offer something in return. Once it is signed, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper and you're going to fold the paper um, three times. All right, once the paper has been folded like this, what you're going to do, and this is a very important step, do not miss this step, is you're going to get the petition paper and you're going to pass it all around your body, from your head to your feet. Um, you're going to put your energy, what you're doing is you're extracting your energy, putting it into the petition paper. Take your time when doing this, do not try to rush. Make sure that your mind and your head is clear and you are focused and you are very present when doing this. Now, once you have done that, you're going to place this to the side. Then we're going to get the ancestral money. What you're going to do is in the back of the bill, what you're going to do is you're going to offer this to your ancestors. So you would write something like, I offer this in gratitude um, in thankfulness for the manifestations that you're bringing into my life. I am offering it to pay a debt in the spiritual realm to those of my ancestors that are still linked or still have links, karmic links in this, in this plane. Okay? Very important. Once you do that, at the front, you're going to put your first, last name, date of birth, and you're going to do the same thing as the paper. You're going to pass this bill all over your body from head to toe. Once that is done, we're ready to go. Now, I'm going to take you guys through this process, but let's talk about the candle. Now, if you guys know about, if you guys know about sigils, if you guys know about um, pretty much drawing in or uh, receiving and projecting energy, this is going to be extremely easy for you. For those of you guys that don't know, um, so if you have a seven day candle like this, what you're going to do is you need to look at your birth chart. Um, and you're going to look at the, first of all, you're going to look at the planet that is in your 10th house. Um, 10th house having to do with finances and career. The prominent the prominent planet in your 10th house is what you're going to be putting at the center of the candle like you guys can see here okay now you're also going to be looking at your whatever your sign is what is the ruling planet of that sign and that's the sign that you're going to integrate and you're going to put here on my left side so on your left side it's going to be the your ruling planet of your sign at the center is going to be the planet ruling your 10th house and then you have the option of using if, if none of those is jupiter or venus then you will integrate venus at your right side okay so let me repeat this at the center your 10th ruling planet, whatever your planet is in your 10th house, that's the ruling planet. Um, that's the planet that is in your 10th house. That's the one that's going to go at the center. To your left is going to be 
your sign, whatever your sign is, the planet that rules that sign. So as an example, if it is uh, Libra, if you're a Libra, then obviously your ruling planet is going to be Venus. So you would put Venus here. Um, if your ruling planet is um, Aquarius, then you would be putting Saturn on, on that side. Um, so again, and on your right side, if you don't have, if your ruling planet of the, if the ruling planet of your sign is not Venus, or if the ruling planet um, that is ruling your 10th house is not Venus, then you would integrate Venus, okay? Because Venus is the planet of abundance. It's the planet of love and wealth. So I hope that makes sense. Now at the bottom, you're going to be writing down the hour which you were born, okay? Obviously, I'm doing this for a client, but as an example, if you were born at midnight, you would put midnight in the bottom. You would put 12, uh, zero, zero. Or if you were born at 1 p.m., you would put 1, um, uh, you would use the military time. So if you were born at 1, it would be 13. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so what you're going to do here is, the reason why we use the bell here is because we're working with our ancestors. This is an ancestor um, as well as spirit guide spell, which is why it's very important uh, to make sure to pretty much render the offering that you're giving to them, whatever it is that you're saying you're going to give in return in your petition paper, okay? All right, my lovely, so let's get into it. You're gonna uh, ring the bell on your left, on your right, to the center. So you're doing north, you're doing uh, south, north, east, and west, okay? I call upon all my spirit guides, my ancestors. I ask you to please be present and to help me empower and strengthen this spell that I'm about to commence. I ask for your full support. Thank you. So once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with lighting the bill. Okay. And it's like I said, the bill has the written in the back and the information in the front. And what you're going to do is you're going to basically light it. Make sure to fully burn it. What we want here is we are wanting the ashes because that's what we're going to use. Okay, and now we're going to ignite your petition paper. So you're going to do the same thing. Fully being present in this process, putting your intention, your effort, your energy into this. And thanking the spirits. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit guides, for being present and empowering this work, empowering this spell. Very important to show gratitude in this type of working, you guys. Okay. 
Okay. And as you can see, it is completely burnt, which is exactly what we want to see here. Just take this out really quick. The pieces of wood. <laughs> All right. So as you guys can see here, it is completely burnt. We have the ashes here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to open the jar okay that has the coins and the prunes and the honey we're going to get some of the ancestral money as well as the petition paper here and we're going to drop some in there okay like this and what you're going to do is you're going to put your right hand over it and you're going to say out loud I thank the spirits, I thank my ancestors for being present. I thank you, I open my heart, my mind, my body, and my spirit to receive all the blessings that are coming my way and that are bestowed upon me. Once you do that, you're going to cover it and you're not going to disturb this jar whatsoever. You're going to put it away in a place where no one can see it. It's like I told you guys in the beginning of the first video, the moment that the person lays eyes on this jar, the spell is broken and you're going to have to redo this. Now, if you're doing this for, uh, for, like I said, success or for abundance or for money in regards to your career or your, you know, your business, um, then you can keep this away, still keep it away from people seeing it or whatnot, preferably. I usually just put it away in my closet because uh, I'm, you know, every day going throw my closet to look at my clothes, the clothes I'm going to wear, etc. So I keep that there and I know that I'm the only one that's, you know, going to lay eyes on it. Every time you need or anytime you feel like, uh, you know, it's a little bit of stagnant energy when it comes to your finances, you can go to the jar, you're going to shake it, and you're going to ask your spirit guides and ancestors to bring to you more abundance, okay, while shaking it. Now, if you're doing this to uh, get financial support or assistance from someone, you would say their name while shaking it, and you're going to tell the jar exactly what it is that you want. Now, like I told you guys initially in the beginning of the previous video, whenever you feel like the honey is starting to uh, dry up and you need more, don't hesitate in putting more. Make sure that every time you put more honey, uh, preferably in a new moon or full moon so that you can empower the process again and not have to do it all over again. Um, make sure to always thank your spirits and your spirit guides. Now, we're going to move on to the candle. What we're gonna do here is, this candle's already prepared. It's already been ritualized for my client. Um, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have my client uh, get some of these ashes and what you want to do is if you obviously if you're doing this for yourself what you're going to do is you're going to get some of the ashes you're going to rub them on both the palm of your hands and you're going to dust your hands with that then you're going to put that energy into the candle okay putting the intention and energy once you're done with that, you're going to get some of the ashes and you're going to put them on the on the top of the candle. OK, once that is done, you're set to go. You can light the candle and keep it in your altar or keep it where you're going to be spending most of your time in. Um, make sure to be uh, make sure to be careful. You guys were not trying to burn the house down. Um, and you're going to let it completely extinguish, completely consume itself. Um, based on the wax and how it's burned, that's how quick you're going to be seeing results, okay? Now, whatever remaining ashes you have here, what you can do is 
every time you're going to be around that person or every time you are going to your business and you're wanting to draw in um, more clientele, more money, you can always get some of the ashes and put them in the palm of your hands and rub them. Um, and you can also do the same rubbing and putting some of the ashes in the bottom of your feet before you put your socks on or your shoes on. And what you're doing is the hands and the feet are known to be uh, extremely powerful, um, basically portals um, to receiving and projecting energy. So when you put that there, basically you're drawing in the abundance and success to your physical self, meaning you're the one that's going to be on the receiving end. So again, um, I hope that this gives you guys insight. I hope that I made it very clear um, how to do this process and you guys are going to be amazed at the results. I wish you guys the best. I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Bye.